Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and the next figure I want to review today is the Marvel Legends 2012 Wave 2 X-Force Phantom X figure. Now, at first glance, he looks pretty cool. He's not bad of a, he's not too bad of a display piece, but there are some pretty serious problems in my opinion. So we will go ahead and go over those. He stands at six and a quarter inches tall, so he's just perfectly fine for scale. If you'll notice, he uses the Wolverine and Forge two pack, the Wolverine from that body, from that package, just body. Wow, that didn't say that right at all. It's the body from that Wolverine, whatever. Geez, um, part of that body is okay. The sculpt of the arms is fine, but they are a little bit long on the figure. He's got really, really long arms. The sculpt of the legs is okay, except it doesn't have ankle rockers, so the feet aren't very poseable at all. And the torso would be okay if it wasn't for this really, really ugly ab crunch. It's just terrible. Alternately, not even alternately, um, in addition to, he's got this really big neck, which uh, really made Wolverine look weird, but it's a really tall and standout-ish neck. And the head, they didn't do a terrible job of hiding the really long neck with the head. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all like that. But if you look, the way they sculpted the head, I don't know why, but they made it so that it could look all the way up. Which is nice enough for posing, but when it's looking forward, it's got this kind of a helmet effect to it. Now, I don't know for sure, but I don't think Phantom X is supposed to be wearing a helmet. I don't know, they also left the collar sculpting in there for Wolverine, so on his outfit it was just the blue one up to there, or actually I think it was yellow, and then skin color for his neck, and they just painted the whole thing, they didn't even retool it at all, so I don't care for that. Um, in addition to all of that, he has Y-jointed hips, which I don't care for, and the belt they gave him is fine, it's a decent enough belt, but the gun holsters they gave him... The only way to really fit the guns in there effectively is to put them in backwards. You could put them in forwards, and I'll show you, but they just really don't fit well. They kind of hang backwards too much and don't fit in the holster, so it's just not good. You have to put them in backwards. Speaking of the guns, the guns are okay. My problem is they're just not quite realistic enough. Now, I know there are some competition pistols with the fancy, uh, fancy sights, with the counterbalances and everything like that in the extended magazine but these just don't look realistic enough and the paint is bad it's not a good color it's kind of like a greenish grayish bluish it's just not good it's not silver enough at all and I don't like it I don't like the sculpt overall I mean the details are in there it's decent enough but it just doesn't look realistic enough for me so I don't care for the guns I'll let you guys notice this problem on your own. That's how he holds the gun. It looks stupid. He can't hold him barely at all. Same thing on both sides. It just does not work. It doesn't look good. I mean, they stay in his hands, but it looks so stupid, I would just leave him in the holster, to be honest. He holds this side a little bit better, but still, look at the gun's sitting way up on his hand. It doesn't look right at all. And it should be angled way more like that instead of pointing down. He has to point down in a way, so in order to get him to point forward, you have to bend his wrist in. And it just looks goofy. It looks like he has a broken wrist. It just It's so disappointing that even with a simple figure like this, they got the paint job down. That was the hard part. Then they do stupid things like this. You can't even make him hold his pistols without looking stupid. Maybe I'm being overly critical, but I think it just looks bad. They could have easily given him different hands. I mean, these hands should pop out. They do. It's the same exact sculpt as before. So how hard would it have been for them to, instead of using the hands that came with Wolverine, actually these are Forge hands, instead of using the hands that came with Forge, just make a couple of new hands, Hasbro, that pop right in. They're already interchangeable. And give him some hands that can hold his guns. That's just completely irritating. In my opinion, it's unacceptable. If they're trying to foster a nice relationship with their customers, trying to get this line to continue to be successful, cheap and lazy business practice is not a good idea. And I think this is exactly that. It's the epitome. The only thing good about this figure, really, is the paint job. It could be better, but it's still good. 
Uh, I know firsthand that I don't want to, I don't look forward to repainting this guy because I know it's going to be a pain in the butt. So I do give them credit for giving him a decent paint job. However, that's really the only redeeming quality. They reused the jacket, which is fine, it's a good jacket, but they originally had a different body in there for the prototype, I believe, and it looked way better. So they just really dropped the ball. Let me stop complaining about it. I'll go over the articulation and uh, we'll call it a wrap. His head has the uh, disc in there, so it has forward backward movement, and then it has the, it's on a ball joint, so side to side. Standard shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, and then wrist rotation, and wrist pivot. He does have an ab crunch, like I mentioned before, but it's really, really ugly. He has a giant hole in his chest. It's really concave. It only looks okay if you bend it forward like that, but then he his jacket kind of just sticks out backwards so I mean it's not terrible but it doesn't look great he does have a waist twist wide jointed ball joint hips so they do have the full range of motion but you're gonna have to play with it a little bit to get it to work a thigh swivel built in double jointed knees ankle rotation and ankle pivot one other thing I should probably mention is they didn't paint the buckles on any of his straps on the gloves on the thighs on the boots, on the belt, there's no detail painting at all. It's just, there's so many things that let you down with this figure, it's hard to be happy to have it. And even the X, which is clearly just a decal they put on, it's crooked. It's not way crooked, but it is crooked, so I don't like that. The paint depth for the eyes is okay. I mean, the eyes themselves look alright. But he doesn't have any eyebrows, and I'm pretty sure he's supposed to, because they're sculpted on there. They did sculpt the stitching on the hood, helmet, headpiece, whatever you want to call it. It looks like a helmet, like I said. But it's just sculpted on. And there's no shading anywhere on this guy either. Not a bit of shading. And since he's 95% white, shading would have been nice. Also, how did he get red all over him? It came that way. He's got red all over the inside of his jacket. The only red on this figure is from the belt, and there's no way it was the belt. So, you tell me how that got there. I don't know. So there he is, guys. The Marvel Legends Wave 2 Phantom X figure. Um, overall, big disappointment. If you're a Marvel Legends collector, you're going to want to have him. He'll look okay enough just standing there, leave his guns in his holsters, have him stand still like that. And he looks okay, so get him, put him on the shelf, and never touch him again. But don't be happy about it, because it is a disappointment, guys. Sorry to say it, but it is. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more reviews. And in the meantime, keep collecting.